We all know how much our dogs mean to us. They're not just furry companions, but part of the family. But did you know that your dog is actually doing some pretty amazing things beyond just being cute and cuddly? Here's a look at some of the things your dog does and what it means. In this video, we talk about the 11 amazing things your dog does and what it means. Let us know which of them your dog does. Comment down below. Especially number seven is seen a lot in dogs. So let's start with the amazing things your dog does and what it means. Thing number one, licking your face is your dog's way of showing affection. Your pup loves you more than anything in the world and they have their own way of expressing it. One sweet, if a little gross doggy gesture is face licking. Licking your face gives your pup the opportunity to not only show their love and appreciation, but to also leave their scent on you. This is like proclaiming that you are part of their pack. So what better way for your pup to say, I love you, than with a wet lick? Face licking daily may seem excessive, but rest assured, it's usually them just showing their affection for you. Thing number two, yawning when you do. It means that your dog is relaxed around you and feels comfortable in your presence. Yawning is an interesting behavior in dogs that has a lot of different meanings. On the one hand, it can be a sign of exhaustion, but it's also a sign that your pup is feeling content and relaxed around you. When you notice your dog yawning while with you, it means they're in their comfort zone and don't feel threatened. They have formed a bond of trust with you because they feel safe in your presence. Yawning is a classic sign that your furry friend believes they are in secure company and all is well in their world. Thing number three, tilting their head when you talk to them shows that they're trying to understand what you're saying. Have you ever noticed that when you talk to your dog, they tilt their head? It's an adorable behavior that has become a beloved trait of our furry friends. But why do dogs tilt their heads when we talk to them? The answer is actually simpler than you might think. Dogs tilt their heads because they are trying to understand what we are saying. This behavior is most likely the result of evolution and domestication, as well as the strong bond between humans and canines. By tilting its head, a dog can get a better view of our face, so it can pick up on subtle cues in our expressions or body language. In addition, this gesture helps them use both ears more effectively, so they can listen for any important information from us. Tilting its head also allows the dog to focus on certain parts of speech, like changes in intonation or volume, which may give clues about how we feel or what we mean by something. Thing number four, sniffing other dogs behinds is how canines greet one another and get to know each other. When it comes to canines, greeting each other is done a bit differently than with humans. Sniffing each other's behinds may seem strange to us, but to them, this is actually how they learn information about the new dog and helps establish relationships between one another. It allows for important communication as dogs can pick up scents from the oils that are excreted from their glands, like the familiar smell of family members or if they've been introduced to another breed before. Canines use this as a way to detect moods and get an understanding of their environment, a language in itself, all within a single sniff. Thing number five, shaking head. But how is it amazing? Dogs shaking their heads can be an amazing sight to behold. More than just being a fun and cute behavior, there are actually several reasons why dogs do this. One of the most common explanations is that it helps them to get rid of water, dirt, and other debris from their eyes that might otherwise cause irritation. Additionally, head shaking can be a sign of excitement, especially when a dog sees their owner or another dog they recognize. Dogs may also shake their heads to express discomfort or pain in response to loud noises or sensations, such as itching caused by fleas or other parasites. Lastly, dogs may shake their head just because it feels good. When the motion of their head shaking causes their ears to flop around and massage their head, it can provide a feeling of relief and relaxation. Thing number six, they can't sweat as humans do. Dogs may seem to be sweating when they pant, but the truth is that their bodies cool down in a different way than humans. Unlike us, dogs do not sweat through their skin and cannot regulate body temperature by perspiration as we can. Instead of sweating, dogs rely on panting and releasing heat from their paw pads in order to stay cool. 
While humans have millions of sweat glands all over our bodies, which help us regulate temperature, dogs only have about 200,000 sweat glands located in the foot pads of their paws. This means that unlike human beings who can easily release excess heat through sweat evaporation on our skin surfaces, dogs must resort to other methods such as panting or licking themselves in order to lower their body temperatures. Thing number seven, when your dog brings you their toys, they're trying to show you that they trust you and want to play with you. Dogs are natural born pleasers and they love to show you how much they care with their actions. One of the cutest and most reassuring things a pup can do is bring you their favorite toys. This is an adorable way for them to tell you that they trust you and would love to play with you. They may even be trying to involve you in their games or initiate some one-on-one -on -one bonding time. No matter what your pet's motivation is, it's indicative of a safe and loving relationship. Everyone needs to feel loved, especially our furry friends. So spend a little extra time playing with them when they offer up their favorite toys. Thing number eight, jumping up on you. Jumping up on you can be a cute behavior dogs may display when they are excited, but it is also an unpleasant one. This type of behavior should not be encouraged as it can cause physical harm and damage to your clothing. If you find your dog has the tendency to jump up on people, you should take steps to educate them on more appropriate behavior, such as sitting politely instead. Training patience and providing positive reinforcement during lessons can help your pet learn that jumping up is not acceptable while ensuring they remain eager and absorb information effectively. Through consistent training, jumping up can eventually become an issue of the past in your household. Thing number nine, doing zoomies. Doing zoomies is when a dog runs around in circles or zigzag patterns really fast. They usually do this because they are excited and want to let out their energy. It is also a way for them to have fun and enjoy themselves. Dogs will often do zoomies when they get home from a walk or just after they have eaten something yummy. Doing zoomies is a normal behavior for dogs. So don't worry if your pup does it once in a while. Thing number 10, wagging their tails. Dogs wagging their tails is a widely recognized and appreciated sign of elation and pleasure. Research has shown that in most cases, when a dog wags its tail, it is content and happy. This phenomenon occurs due to the release of dopamine during positive emotional experiences, which triggers the movement of the tail. Furthermore, subtle differences in how a tail is wagged can indicate different emotions. For example, a held or low slung wag may signify insecurity or fear instead of joy. Finally, not just among dogs, but other animals as well. The classic tail wagging movement is associated with peaceful satisfaction. So next time your furry companion shows his or her delight by wagging his or her tail around, you know that they are truly delighted. Thing number 11, digging or pawing the ground after pooping. Some dogs dig or paw the ground after pooping, an instinctive behavior that is believed to be rooted in the animal's evolutionary past. It's thought that this behavior helps to reduce the scent of their droppings, making it harder for predators to locate them. Dogs may also be trying to cover up their feces as a means of keeping their living space clean and safe from other animals. The process of digging and burying feces may have started as a way for wild canines to hide from predators, as we just mentioned. But in modern times, the behavior has been adapted by domesticated dogs for different purposes. Wild dogs use this technique to mark their territory, which helps them distinguish which areas are theirs and where other animals are not welcome. Domesticated dogs can also learn to do this behavior when they want attention or are feeling anxious. Dogs are amazing creatures that have their own way of communicating with us. By understanding some of the things they do, we can better appreciate our furry friends and deepen the bond we share with them. So next time your dog does something that seems a little odd, remember that they're just trying to tell you something. Now we're at the end of this video. If you got value from this video, you'll also like this video. Thanks for spending time with us.